Hi everybody, uh, an unscheduled little thing on uh, on YouTube today just because I can't get my head around uh, what is happening. I'm still down here uh, in Weymouth waiting for Vicky. I hope you enjoyed seeing Vicky yesterday, me and her and Sticky Vicky, the other Vicky, the alternative universe Vicky, will be doing a, a show on Sundays at the end of August. No one watches television in August, we don't think so, end of September. We're all working like beavers trying to get our app on the television and it's uh, it's fun to say the least but I've been looking at a few things now I've just looked on online on the mail online and that Nick Robinson that awful lefty bloke from uh, Radio 4 BBC bring back communism for argumentative little sh person is uh, he looks a bit like an alien doesn't he and he is reveling in it and he's now welcomed uh, onto his show and uh, Nadim Hawaii so are we so, so in the that bloke who's just been made uh, Chancellor. He's a good bloke, apparently. I don't know whether he's an Iraqi origin or Iranian or something like that, but he's a no-nonsense man. He was the Mr. Jab man, wasn't he? He sorted out the vaccines, he sorted out education, now he's going to sort out uh, and lower taxes like Conservatives should do. And with regard to this Boris situation, what would I do if I was Boris? I'd tell everyone else to bugger off. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't leave my job because someone touched someone's bum in the Carlton Club. He never touched mine. I was there. Uh, it all seemed fine to me there, you know, in the old Carlton Club. But anyway, there you go. We're, we're all moving on now. And uh, two people have resigned already. But what I want to speak to you about today is the most racist thing I have seen uh, on Twitter for a while. I don't do Twitter. My people do Twitter for me. But... Um, Brian, who's here with me, he just pointed this out. Nish Kumar, you know the unfunniest comedian in the world, evenly balanced, he has a chip on each shoulder. Nish Kumar, whoever gave him that job, or that name, quite frankly, uh, would, um, I don't know what he is about, and he said today, he said something about, you know, my feelings, that he's not a fan of Rishi Sunak and Savid Javid, uh, but he's so pleased uh, that a posh white man has been brought down by two Asians. Now, please tell me, ladies and gentlemen, that that is okay to say that. Would it be okay to say to me that it, I, I was really pleased that 400 posh white people brought down the Asian so-called comedian Nish Kumar at a dinner and proved to him that he is unfunny and, in fact, should resign but no he's still there pretending to be funny he's clinging on i mean this is a parallel universe isn't it he can say what he wants uh, and other people can't so here's what i think nish kumar should do apologize for stirring up racial hatred get a life and in fact go and get another job i'll see you all on Ustream uh, tomorrow night is it tomorrow night yeah it is thursday night six o'clock okay bye he, he, he generally had a two pair, didn't he, the drummer? And as he was drumming it, you could see it doing this as he was, as he was doing it. Yeah, it's yes, yeah, it. believe. Yeah, and it's like if you put auto tune on someone who can sing, it's like putting a caliper on a healthy leg. I don't see the point of it. There's a new party, like an S club party. If there was a party, I'm very sorry. And why are they so sarcastic? Of course it's my car. You think I'd nick this piece of shit, do you know what I mean? <laughs> the what? What, he said, he said, yeah, 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 he went, he went to a Calvin Klein's. He said, right, where's this member's book? He's getting barred out. He thought there was someone called Calvin Klein. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I left the army and had exactly the same things. I was used to having those orders all day long, exactly. And you, you were told exactly what to do every minute of the day. Yeah. Um, then I got married. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say, Sam, I know you've got a terrible drink problem. Because um, I have got a terrible drink problem. I haven't had a drink for 17 years. So. <laughs>